Hi Tamers! Today I've got some super fun PvP replays to show you using my new Venom Spread team. Venom Spread is a super strong technique, but it only does damage if the opponent has the poisoned condition. It's only learned by a couple times in the game, so I built a team with all three of them. I'll give a full explanation on how the team works at the end of the video, but for now, let's jump right into the PvP! For our first game, I see Yaller, I ban Yaller. My only answer to Yaller is my Nagais, and I really don't want to bring them into a game with a Scaravolt. Also, Yaller sometimes run Chamomile, which prevents me from Venom spreading it, which would be really sad. They ban my Akronox. My only other answer to Scaravolt is Ukama, so I lead it, and they respond with Nagais and Kinu. To counter the Nagais, I grab Rynet. They ban my Electric Koish, and I ban Scaravolt. The rest of the draft looks like this. So turn 1 is a bit of a prediction challenge. Their Nagais is extremely threatened by my Electra Punch, but they have an Amphitear in the back that can come in and tank it. So we have to predict whether they leave Naga in or swap. I'm leaning more towards them swapping, so I swap too. I was right, and they bring Amphitear into that spot. I bring in Cycrox, but they also double swapped in their Golzi, which might be an issue. Water Cannon comes down onto the Amphitear, doing little damage, but at least we apply poison. The next turn, I want to go for Venom Spread to try and knock out Amphitear. I think they'll stay in and try to double my Psychrox with electric damage, so I also switch Ukama back out to Rynet. They swap Golzi out to Nagais, and my Rynet comes in. Psychrox outspeeds with Venom Spread, and Amphitear is Venom dead. This isn't the fastest Psychrox, but it does outspeed certain Amphitear builds. We'll take it. They bring in their Calibus. Now this turn I don't really need to predict a Naga swap or not. They have Kinu or Golzi to come take the Electric Punch if they want, but by then Deceit Aura will be gone and I won't have any trouble with their Naga for the rest of the game. So I switch Psychrox out to my own Naga and throw a slow Electro Punch into theirs. It stays in and gets O-Code, and Ryanet takes a Toxic Ink. Golzi comes back in. I take a Toxic Ink into Nagais, which activates Reactive Vial, and I Beta Burst the Golzi, which it barely survives. But I also use Hypnosis on that slot with Rynet, so it goes to sleep. Since Golzi is asleep for this turn, I double the Calibus slot. Kinu comes back in with Mom's Lunch. Calibus survives both hits and Toxic inks my Nagais one more time, but the Lunch causes it to overexert. I've got one more turn of Deceit Aura, so I Electro Punch the Calibus to finish it off, and our Mental Thames trade Beta Bursts. Nagais is knocked out, but they did their job really well this game. I bring in 2-Wire, and they bring in Golzi. My Rynet OX last turn, so all I got is a Feather Gatling for Golzi. It's nullified by Common Factor, so hopefully it's enough to kill. The Kinu revitalizes it, but hopefully it's still enough to kill. I get Oshi Dashied, and thankfully that's not enough to kill. And I Feather Gatling, and it's enough to kill. All that's left is Kinu, so I swap out Rynet for Psychrox, and press Faraday Cage to set up for another Venom Spread. Beta Burst hurts Psychrox, but we survive and are ready to Venom Spread this turn. But then they sacrifice onto my 2-wire for the culture. I would have liked to get a sweet Venom Spread finish, but oh well. Good game. Well played. On to our second game. They start by banning Nagais, and I ban Volgon because its superconductivity provides a lot of synergy for their team. They lead Nature Koish, I respond with Akronox and Chromion, a very threatening Venom spread lead against that Koish. They bring Seismunch. I ban Yaller, and they ban my Rynet. The rest of the draft looks like this. So on turn 1, I have a really strong Venom spread that I can throw into their Nature Koish. As long as I can outspeed, it should one-shot them. But unfortunately, they predict me, and they swap out to Kinu or they would have predicted me if this wasn't a pigment inverted Chromion, Seismunch was my target this whole time! My combo comes out, barely missing the kill after the Kinu buff, but Seismunch falls to the poison tick at the end of the turn. All according to Keikaku. Nature Koish comes back in, which in a shocking turn of events, actually completely walls my Chromion. So I decide to switch them out to my 2-wire. The water cutting Lily comes out, chunking my Akronox, and I retaliate with a Sting, which traps, poisons, and removes the Nullified from Koish. Kinu revitalizes, but the healing is nowhere near enough to prevent what happens next. I have to tank another water cutting Lily, which is fine because it did less than 50% before. Then my Venom Spread comes out, absolutely deleting the Koish. Kinu tried to sacrifice onto it, but couldn't quite move fast enough, and Tuwire fires off a Faraday Cage. Next, they bring in Adoroboros. Now, I could Venom spread here onto the Kinu, but I'm predicting a possible swap, so I play it slow and bring in my Koish. They don't end up swapping, instead deciding to energy manipulation that spot, attempting to trade. Adoroboros takes a big Faraday Cage, and Kinu stonewalls the Adoro. Next, I double target the Kinu. Gialis comes in on the Adoro spot, and Kinu takes one Electro Punch before sacrificing. 
then my Faraday cage comes out onto Gialis for some okay damage. Adoro comes back in. We double Adoro to finish it off, my Koish tanking a sharp stabs in the process, and the next turn they concede. GG WP. For game 3, I ban Mooflank, and they ban Nagais. I lead Chromion, and they bring Mudred and Valash. These temps would normally wall my Venom spread, but remember, this is a sneaky pigment inverter Chromion. I bring Akronox as my support. We trade Okama bans, and the rest of the draft looks like this. So turn 1 I can pretty much pick whichever tem I want and potentially one-shot it with a PI Venom spread. The problem is deciding which one. Valash can set up and sweep my team, and Mudred is going to put a tem to sleep next turn causing me to lose a lot of momentum. So after some thought, I decide to focus the Valash, knocking it out with the combo. Afterward, my Chromion tanks a Cyril Steam from the Mudred. They send out Barnch. Neither of my Thames really want to be out on this board, but I can send two wire in to common factor the playing field. I try to sting trap the Barnch so I can Venom spread it next turn, but it's got neutrality, so nothing really happens. Two wire tanks a Dust Vortex, and Akronox eats a Hypoxia thanks to the Nullify. I'm a bit scared to lose my Akronox here to a Tornado, and he's really not able to do much this turn, so I switch them out to Electric Koish. Mudred hits my Koish, my 2 eye returns with a Faraday Cage into the Mudred for decent damage, and Zatfish takes a Hypoxia. Mudred is overexerted this turn, so I don't have too much to worry about. I just Electro Punch the Barnch Spot and Feather Gatling. They double swap into Volfi and Raiken, and my attacks do some okay damage. I want to knock out this Raiken before Volfi plagues my Koish, so I switch to Akronox to apply the Whip bonus and Synergy to Koish's Water Cannon, and with Synergy Master, we blow up the Raiken. This is a really fast Koish, so with the plus one, it managed to outspeed the plague, but it does end up falling to it afterward. So I send in Chromion, and they send in Mudred. I have the option to combo the Mudred, but I decide it's more value this turn to trap the Volfi in for a play next turn. Chromion takes a Dust Vortex and sends a Toxic Torrent into the Mudred, finishing it off before falling to a second Dust Vortex from the Volfi. All that's left to do now is send in Psychrox and start Venom spreading. Barch still has Tornado, but my Akronox is faster than them, and my Psychrox can survive one, so we shouldn't have to worry about anything. Akronox's Venom spread brings this bulky Volfi low, and the Tornado almost kills my Psychrox, but Pepe the Frog is able to finish Volfi off with its own Venom spread. This Barnch is all that's left, and it is neutrality, so I can't set up any Venom spread combos on it, so I kind of have to play the grind game for a few turns for the best chance to deal with it. Psychrox falls to an energy manipulation, and Toxin Shower gives Akronox some evasion safety. Two Wire comes back in, and we can just press Hologram. Mud Shower chunks the Barnch with the help of Nullify, and both my Thames are safe this turn from Barnch's Hypoxia, which causes them to overexert. And the next turn, they concede. Good game, well played. And that's all the games I have to show you today. But before we go, let me explain the builds on the team and why I chose them. First of all, each of my Venom spreaders are built to fit a specific speed tier. My Akronox has 162 speed, and my Venom spreaders both reach 161 if they get a whip bonus. Which means all of my Venom spreads come out at these speed tiers, which makes them fast enough to outspeed the priority 2 metagame except max speed Amphitier. My Poison Appliers are Akronox with Sting, Koisha Nukama with Water Cannon, and Two Wire with Faraday Cage. Each of them are fast enough to combo with Psychrox and Chromion, and fast enough to combo with Akronox at plus one. If you want to learn more about Venom Spread Speed Tiers and how to calculate this stuff, check out my video on Akronox. In it, I go in depth about building a team to truly support a Venom Spread user like them. Speed aside, each of my Toxic Tems are built to survive a max special attack Tolkien's Tornado, even if it has Hand Fan. And aside from that, focus on special attack with enough stamina to attack at least twice after being whipped by Akronox. Psychrox is especially a stamina hungry Tem, so I've been running Fake Beard on them. And Chromion's got Aloe Vera to help threaten Toxic Tems that would otherwise wall my team. My Two Wire and Koish are built with a lot of speed and HP. Their main goal is to survive and apply poison. My Koish also has 45 attack to one shot max HP Nagais. I'm running Doppelganger Brooch to help their end enemy fire Koishas, but I can't really Oko them. Two Wires got a Sweatband to help with the massive stamina cost on Faraday Cage. Ukama is built with enough speed to set up poison with Water Cannon, but also enough damage to threaten things weak to water like Scaravolt. With a Venom Spread combo, you can Oko the most common Scaravolt spread. They're also built with enough stamina to Water Cannon and Aquatic Whirlwind even after being whipped. 
and left over into HP, with a value point and special defense to survive a Thunder Strike from Volgon. Double screen helps it tank at least one hit from pretty much everything else. And finally, my Nagais and Rynet spreads are the same I've been running on my Zalbian team. Rynet's fast enough to sparks my other Thames on normal priority, and Nagais is built to set up and sweep with Deceit Aura when it's not banned. Access to Electro Punch really helps this team against birds, especially since we're running three digital types. And we have hopefully enough coverage against Toxics with our ban phase, two wire when common factor is gone, and pigment inverter toxic chromion. And that's the team! I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I could inspire you to try out a Venom Spread team of your own. I had a lot of fun with it, and I bet you would too. Thanks for watching! My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content for YouTube. If you like this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day!